Hi, it's John Likes to Travel, and today we're going to be talking about these. A mask. No, not the type of mask that you wear to rob a bank. And no, not about these. These are N95 masks, one of them, and also dust masks, because these are no longer available to the general public. We're going to be talking about these. This is a custom-made, homemade mask. And the reason we're going to be talking about that is because is there's no availability for these for our sick and our elderly people. So if you're looking for something to do, something to help out, help out the sick and elderly, you can make some of these homemade masks. Uh, they're not as effective as the N95s, but every degree of protection will help people. So I'm gonna turn it over now to Claudine. She's gonna tell you about this and we'll get a little bit of history. Tell me how this come about, Claudine. Um, well, uh, my sisters are all in Belgium and they were all talking on our little sister chat and they were all making masks. So I was kind of curious about it. Yeah. And um, they uh, have a pattern. Or there's a pattern online. And um, it was the mask was invented by a doctor that then with a few other doctors, they put their heads together to come up with this. So originally the, the mask was one piece, uh, one piece of cloth, as I remember, Correct. and then they improved upon it. one layer. All right, so tell us how, what, what basically you got there. Once you've cut this piece of pattern, you so get... So you got the pattern and uh -huh. you got two of these. So I have it here in an old bandana and piece of curtain. So a double layer is here and then... And so when we talk layer. about the type of, of cloth that they're using, we have to find something that is porous enough that a person can breathe through, but not so porous that it will let more of the contaminant go through. So you've chosen here a piece of what type of material here? So they recommended cotton because cotton you can wash at high temperatures. Yeah. And a lot of times you can wash it without it really deteriorating fast. So, so this is bandana material here, and then you've used some of an older type curtain material here. Yeah, this is a little bit thicker. A little so bit they thicker. recommend a medium thickness cotton. So what, this is stuff, we're trying to get you to use stuff that you got at home. Take out some of those old clothes, some of those old t-shirts, got old bandanas, and this is some stuff you can do. So once you've got two pieces of this cut and two pieces of this cut, tell us how you put it together. So it's, it's, it's four times the same pattern. Right. So this is the nose piece. So we're going to stitch it here. Like here, it's much easier to see. Okay. You stitch it right there. You zigzag it so it's longer lasting in the wash. So both the same again. And then you're going to put the, the seam on the outside and basically the seam on the outside here too. So you're going to stick that one in there in the other. So you have seam outside, seam outside. You, ma you match everything nicely like this. Okay, and then okay. it becomes this to so this point. So then it becomes this here and then you take a piece of elastic and I'm using... 30 centimeters plus minus for the head elastic and about 25 centimeters for the neck elastic. So I'm attaching that in the corners on the inside of this piece. And then we're going to just stitch around the whole thing. Yeah. And again, zigzag it so that it's that you can wash it many, many times. Yeah. And then it's basically ready. You turn it around, flip it inside out. So it's basically ready to use, but as an extra layer of protection, those doctors were mentioning, if you take a, just a little piece of kitchen towel. paper towel roll okay. and cut okay. it to about the size right here where it would sit in front of your nose, you will stick that in there. And basically every time you use your mask, when you come back home, you can throw that piece, that inner piece, which is non-woven, you can throw that out and then you throw this in the would you do us a machine. favor and put one of these on one time for us now what we've been told is when they throw this out then you can wash this very easily in high temperature hot water or you can also boil it on the stove just bring it up to boil put it in there and it's resanitized and so last night i posted a picture of miss claudine with this <laughs> on and she was testing out this theory and i have to apologize to her i did not uh let her know I was doing it. So this is the reason she was uh, self-distancing doing the little test last night. So there you have it from John Likes to Travel. You can do something for your elderly and your sick. Get out there, stay safe, stay uninfected.